Hello, person. Please like. We're warming up here. Hello, two people. Please like. We're warming up. Just letting people come. I'm going to have a lecture about my carrot, me carrot method. I'm going to teach you the method that I do to become like this. Jacked and stacked. Solar night. Yeah, two people, zero likes. Can someone please like? Come on. Like. Like the stream. Be the first one. It, it is glorious. There's a reason why people always comment first. <laughs> you were first. You won. You won that particular ch challenge. First like challenge. Come on. Come on, little person watching. You can do it. Hit the like button. Yes, yes, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, three people. Now we need more likes. When we have five, we can get going with the lecture. When I see five in the number, because it's going to change, of course. But when I see five, we can start the lecture about the carrot method. My method to get jacked and stacked. All, all that goes into my protocol. Well, not all, because it's my whole life, of course. But the big things, the big seven, I think it is. The big seven or the big eight. Yeah, please like, please like the stream. You know, I see, I see all the people that dropped by and didn't like. Did you see the butterfly <laughs> that flew past there? I saw it on camera, I think, too. <laughs> wow. Life is beautiful, you guys. Even more beautiful when you hit that like button. I'm gonna sell. Sell, I'm selling my, you know, I'm giving you these nice little speeches for likes, in exchange for likes. So I might as well tell you this sword here. What I'm training with my sword is, you see, wrist, wrist and shoulder mobility mainly, because it's not that heavy, right? But it's still, there's need that, you know, there's more, if we talk strength in terms of specificity, even if it's not heavy, I need to learn to control a new object like this. Uh, so it's a bit muscular like that too, but it's mostly, you know, these things. Wow, nice for the shoulders, you know, and all this shit. Then we get the wrists involved too. Please like, please like, don't just come in and watch and don't say anything and not like. That's, that's the worst kind of uh, people. Uh, <laughs> all right. I have four. When we're five. Yeah, please. Good with the likes. Please like more. When we're five people and five likes, the corresponding likes. Christopher Lampa, what's up? What's up, Manan? Um, I'm going to have a lecture here with my um, carrot method, the things that go into my routine, my process to get jacked and stacked. Four people, please like. Please like. There's uh, at least half of the likes that there's supposed to be. You know, I, I, I'm looking at it as the glass being half full, but um, <laughs> room for improvement always. I like full glasses, right? Um, thank you, uh, Kirsofer. Interesting, we'll stick around as long as I can. Thanks, man. Appreciate that, please like. Ossi, where are you? I'm in Sweden uh, still. I'll be in Sweden for one to three months more before I move to Greece. But I am still in Sweden, in my kingdom here. You know, no one else is claiming this kingdom. That's why I can be here and do, do all the shit I do as if I own this place. Because I might as well own it. No one else is claiming it. On the paper, I don't own it. But in reality, wow. Looking, looking all right here, fellas. Please like. <laughs> you moving to Greece for legal steroids? No, I didn't know they were legal there. Um, you know, you never know. I'll be honest, I'll say with a natty thing, I'd never want to be dependent on uh, steroids, but I could definitely see myself uh, blast, blast the cycle and just move uh, off it um, smoothly uh, with a good protocol, 
with the uh, intention of not going on again. And I think people say you can't keep any gains from the steroids. Well, I say I, I would. I would keep the gains <laughs> to, for when I'm natural again. Because that I've done, I've done so many things in my life that people say you can't do. Um, so, yeah, that, that's not the reason I'm moving to Greece, though. That's just you prompted me to talk about this now. That's my thought process on that. No, I'm moving to Greece because I'm, I, I've built my kingdom here and I will have it here. I will have a lot of family and friends that live around this um, kingdom, in this kingdom, um, our mutual kingdom, of course because it's really what I mean, it's the kingdom within, but I'm happy with what I have here. I can't get anything more here, so it's time to go, and I'm gonna move with the sun. So I'm gonna come back here in the summers for three months in the summers, but I'll be moving abroad. And Greece, I have my reasons for picking Greece as my first try, but it is a first try. I'm not moving anywhere permanently right now, but I'll move somewhere, uh, you know, to try, see what it's like, and then we'll see if I'm happy with Greece or want to go somewhere else. But Greece or Spain were the two countries I considered, and I've chosen Greece for right now. We'll see. Spain would probably, probably, be, be, <laughs> probably be the next place to, um, to um, explore. Uh, mm. <laughs> My client that I always say to, to, ask, to uh, ask me more, uh, asking me more, and I'm like happy, but she's like, you don't have to tell me if I say too much. And it's like, <laughs> gotta tell her, it's never too much. I'll just answer later if it's too much right now. I will always reply. But she's the only woman, Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte, om du kollar på streamen. If you're watching, Charlotte, you're my only woman client right now. And that, uh, that is um, respect, you know, respect. Okay, we have five people and four likes. If we get the fifth like, I'll start the lecture uh, about the carrot method. I have to do little things like this with you guys. Uh, I'm noticing, you know, some people help out, but some are really fucking slow to understand that this is a mutual thing we're doing here. It's not only the ATM where you take stuff out of TU, you know. You have to put your card in the machine to get the money out. <laughs> Bringing back another, like, metaphor in another, you know, setting. I talked about putting the card in the machine before. Come on. I know you can do it, guy or girl. Fifth like. Fifth like. Now, but my one female client I have is Charlotte, and she is fucking great. Um, older than me. Like, so I want to say, I'm going to start saying, because I say older woman sometimes, and I don't mean that it's an old woman. I mean, in, in relation to me, <laughs> she's older. She's like um, 43 or whatever, 15 years-ish or so, older than me. Now we're six people and four likes. Someone needs to like, and I'll start the lecture about the carrot method. I'm asking you for the like. You will get the one hour minimum lecture on how to improve your life process to get jacked and stacked and healthy and confident and achieve your goals. Still you aren't liking. Isn't that pathetic? Isn't that pathetic? You're just gonna watch still. You could, you could prompt this amazing information to come out of me, but you're, you're not gonna do it. Hmm. Wow. Some people. Do you imagine the ego of some people that, you know, I, I know I've done this with people in the past too. You follow people, but you're not going to give them anything because there's something wrong with them. You are better than them. Now you just happen to have stuff to learn from them right now. So you will watch their videos and take their free information. But no, I'll never give, give something in return. And I don't mean money even, you know, just, just the interaction, just the like, just the comment. I watch the stuff. I'll look at it for me, so I get stuff, but I won't like it for this person, because it's only good right now that they made success, so I can reap the benefits of that, but really I want to see them burn. I want to see them burn. <laughs> Come on, 30 seconds until we've been for 10 minutes. You should be able to do five likes by then, guys. Come on, five likes in less than 10 minutes. That's one like per two minutes. That should be good for you. We're counting down, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, you know, if I was a really harsh sensei right now, I'd end the stream. I'd end the stream. But I see that you got the like right after, guys, so let's go, let's go. Um, the question is, 
I think I want to sit down over there. But maybe we found such a good... Well, you know, we'll try it because it was just symbolic. It needed to be this place. I'll try to show you what it looks like. Um, you see, it's like a little entrance into a place like that. And the sun is right at the right angle to be in there now. So I figured I saw that as a sign that that's where my lecture today needs to happen. So we do it like this. Okay, guys. Thank you for all the likes. Now you're going to get the great free information here. But I will remind you, you can send a super chat uh, to send to show your support. I'm happy with a thank you in text too. There's different degrees of showing your support, basically. Different tiers. Uh, I guess I need to do a Patreon or something like this. But uh, this is okay, right? You can see me. I can see the chat, probably. Okay, guys. Let me take. I have some sun soda here, or solar soda. I think I'm going to say sun soda about this one. It just sounds better. Sun soda. Sun soda. It actually sounds a little bit Japanese then. Oh, please like new people in the stream. We're just about to start the lecture here. So I will probably keep talking now for quite a bit when I start with the method here. Uh, please send your questions. Please send your super likes to show your support that you love me. I don't believe that you love me if you don't give me money. <laughs> well, I'm having too much fun with my life, you guys. My video game. Like, I'm finally in the 90s, in Diablo 2, you know. I can just slay the monsters. It's easy. It's just some other players that are, you know, a few levels above me. Okay. We have the carrot method. So, I'm going to try and show you. I just wrote it down here. Maybe it's mirrored for you. I'm not sure. I'm going to do uh, a more high-tech. Uh, but this is right for this stream I made this. Um, but, okay... So, you see, it's a carrot, it's a carrot, and the carrot is basically you. It could be viewed as you, and then there's the dirt here, where the, um, where the carrot has been planted. So, in the dirt, we have some fundamental laws that have nothing to do with us as people. As little solar knights, solar princes and solar princesses, we don't get to decide this. The earth is the earth, no matter what. And in the earth is consistency. Progressive overload, frequency, volume, intensity. It's stuff you have to have in mind with all the things you take on in life. May it be physical training, may it be mental training, a new job you're doing, um, a new skill you're learning. Uh, it doesn't matter. The frequency, volume, intensity, consistency, and that you apply progressive overload, that you gradually do more while manipulating these frequency, volume, intensity, consistency. Uh, or the consistency you don't <laughs> you don't uh, manipulate uh, at all, uh, but um, th that has to be there. Yeah, we, th that's why the, the, those two consistency and progressive overload are up on their own. There, they just need to be there. Frequency, volume, intensity, like they are in the ground, but these can change a bit. The earth, the ground can change a bit, but it will always the ground won't just go away. It won't just fall to the center of the earth, right? Please like if you're new to the screen. But okay, so there where we plant ourselves, the carrot, in the roots there, it has to be movement. Because if you don't move, you're dead, you know. That, that's the, a significant thing of dying, right? From the point you're dead, you are now never moving again. Someone else may move your flesh, you know, carry your body around, but you will never move again. So if you don't move, like training and eating right and all that shit, that, that's not even... You know, it can't happen if you don't move, if you don't eat, if you don't eat, you know, if you don't go to bed, go to sleep. And if you don't, yeah, use your bodies to train. If you don't move, you're dead. So movement is the in the roots. Then we have the sun. The sun rises at the start of the day. So it makes sense that, um, you know, you, you need to be in the sun at the start of your day. We get the ultra red uh, beams, sunbeams from the morning sun because of the angle of the sun right then. That has unique, unique properties that um, the, the day sun, that is also very important, uh, but uh, doesn't have. It will um, prime you for the stronger sun earlier in the day, like receiving this morning light will make the, your skin more resistant to the stronger sun uh, later in the day, so that you don't have to resort to toxic sunscreens and all that, that people think that you need. To have to protect yourself from the sun because the thing is the sun is very very good and healthy for you 
but only the amount you can handle. If you go over that amount and burn yourself, it's no good. That, that, then it's no good anymore. So that, that's the thing. We want to be able to get as much sun as possible without getting burnt. If it hurts, if you're red, then it hurts, then you went too far. So you can use progressive overload and frequency and volume intensity and all those variables to manipulate your sun exposure, do you see? Um, but the sun later in the day you want to, whether you're a man or woman, this is important for us always, um, we charge ourselves in the sun. Like we literally, it, you can see it as a part of your diet. Um, you, you get certain micro, micronutrients from the sun that you can't get from food and testosterone and dopamine, two, two uh, hormones that we want to keep very high, um, those, those just uh, explode with more sun exposure. And I'm sure there are some female hormones, that specifically for females, that the sun has an impact on too, like progesterone. I'll admit right now, I don't know as much. You know, I know a lot, because a lot is the same for women and men, but I have some holes in my pro process program for the women. So I'm looking forward to when I get my first female prodigy, like a young woman, 25 years old or something to train, so I can learn via her. And um, yeah, we will come. Learning and teaching is one of the things here in the process. But then we have it. We need to, to fuel the movement that we do. And please like the screen, by the way, I see new guys. Uh, we need to eat if we do the movement that we do. By the way, by the bay, uh, by the bay. You see it? There are three different in the movement. There's one where it's kind of doing like a cartwheel, one where it's lifting weights, and one where it's just walking. You understand? All aspects of the movement is part of the, the, the weight is like the physical practice, the training to get jacked, strong and jacked. Um, then you have the like little cartwheel thing there. There's training to get like capable, skillful. M mobility, flexibility, stuff like that. And then it's just the walking, because we are just made to move. Our dose of just walking, just moving. Um, but to eat and fuel uh, our body, uh, that's, uh, you know, that goes in, the recovery goes into the whole training process and all that, right? Um, we need protein and we need carbs and we need fat. And so I put on eat here, I put to just, um, you know, signify the most important things. I put a little steak, I put a potato and a, a fruit, orange, because it's like, you know, it's more protein and some saturated fat from the steak and some starchy carbon, some micronutrients from the um, potato, the vegetable there. And from the orange, you have, well, some potassium, but some fruit, some carbs and some fiber, uh, and, you know, so it, it, that, that kind of signifies what's important for us to eat. But you, within this, you know, for instance, myself, I eat Greek yogurt. I have honey for some more carbs. I have other fruits. I have a lot of juice, which is good for when you're jacked. Juice is great. Juice is great. But when you're fat and losing weight, you should stick to whole fruits for more satiety. But it's great for athletes because it's actually hack then that we can get faster energy and don't get as full from it. And uh, the fat overweight person, uh, it's not good. They want to be get full from what they eat. But yeah, so eating, uh, and all of these, by the way, they are all, I'm putting them in the order. Uh, sleep is the only one that could be, that could be on the very top in a sense, but it's like, it will restart after the sleep. That's the whole point. Um, so teach, we have interact first. You have to see it as the people you spend time with, you know, you can be very fine with being alone and by yourself, but don't deny that you need other people. And so you need to find out the right dose and the right dose of a respected person. Like there are going to be people that you like being in certain situation, but in certain not. And some people that you can be around you, you're going to have all these layers of people, like the closest to you and then really close, but not quite the inner circle that you share your maybe deepest and darkest secret with. And then, you know, those that are really good acquaintances, and you see, but you, you can't let people suck out your energy. You can't give to people that don't give you back and you can't have people that just take from you. You can't allow for you. And this is a tough one for all us people, but you should view with everything in this is like a diet, really. What the you needs to function properly and thrive. So the, the great thing is with the interact, I put learn and teach in it because that's really what we try to do with human interaction. I like this seven people watching and seven likes. Please like though again. But if you do it right with your interactions with people, you will always have learned them something and they will have taught you something. Um, yeah, uh, you, you, you will have 
you will have taught them something and you will have learned something from them. You will have helped them in some way and they will have helped you in some way. Like sometimes helping is actually doing something for them immediately here and now, but it could also be you help them by, you know, giving them a tidbit of information that will be useful for you. Or you gave them a nice smile or you wish them a nice day, you know. This is the thing that we, we as humans, we, we get very caught up in the me puzzle because our, we need a perfect balance between spending attention on ourselves and on other people because there's a perfect balance there. The more perfectly you give yourself everything you need, the more you have to give to other people. But if you just keep giving to yourself, then the other people don't get anything. But also, if you give too much to other people, then you don't get what you need. So, you know, you need to find a balance here, and it's so important. You should see this as a diet, finding the right diet. And then we put sleep at the bottom. That could be at the start again, but it's because when you go to sleep, you die. You die again, and you plant this carrot again in the ground, and you have a chance to grow. Grow the carrot into a bigger carrot the next day by doing new optimizations. Because what I can say here at the end, before I go to your questions, I see there's been some activity in the chat, uh, is within all this, th th it's just that this should all be present. You, th that's when, why when people ask, how often do you train to me and stuff like this, it's like, I do my process every day, but the dose of each here, eating, the sun, the way I move, the, what I eat, what I, uh, how I move, you, you know, it all depends on the day. So, for instance, when I feel like fully recovered, like on a day like this, I took the chance to have a hard fucking workout now because I've had to chill the week here before. I both needed more rest and I wanted to choose to prioritize my work a bit. So I didn't remove. Then it's not like, oh, I just don't go to the gym. I, I can't train as I would optimally, so I don't go to the gym. No, I stay in around. I, but all of this is necessary to the life and thrive of this carrot. But it, the dosages will be different on each day. That's what I'm getting at there. So I will take a sip of this and I will look at the chat. More than a sip. Wow. So good, you guys. Coconut water and orange juice, 50-50. Amazing. <laughs> okay, Balkam Stark, please like and com uh, say something in the chat, you other guys. Send a super chat if you're learning stuff and you want to um, support, show your appreciation. Balkam Stark, hello, do you think it's okay to do cardio while doing snake night? There's always a balance. What you should have learned from this, it's always a balance. Can you tell how fasting isn't even written out in the carrot, but it can still be part of the process because it just means that on the eating, the um, fasting days, the eat part is very, it's reduced to zero almost, maybe just water and salt, hmm? but it's still there. So the, the, it's the same thing with your cardio and your fasting there. Maybe it's not the time to go for a personal best for a marathon sprint, you know, uh, but, but marathon sprint too, like a springing marathon, uh, sprinting it. No, but maybe it's not the time for that, but maybe it's time to do moderate cardio that doesn't tax you, just give you, get, gives you a sweat and feels like you made some effort and you moved your body, you pumped some blood through it. Maybe that's great to do on the fast. Do you see what I'm saying? There's some, um, oh, okay. I just see my friend is in a shitty move, mood. Uh, I, I actually need to, oh, can I text him while the chat is going? That was important to me. Um, I might be able to without, um, yeah, if I do it like this. Sorry guys, this is important. Do you see what I've said with the teach and learn and interactions, this guy has done so much for me that I need to prioritize him. Um, please, please mind dump if you like live now did I manage to do that without closing the live yeah the thing is because I know if I go out of this completely the the live uh, shuts down 
but if I can pull it down, like have the notification on the screen. <laughs> wow, you see Opti. It's always Opti. That's what I'm talking about with the carrot method. Uh, so, when, you know, I think I answered your question about fasting and cardio. The right amount of cardio is okay to do on the snake diet. The wrong amount of cardio is not right, is not okay to do. Do you see? There's always a balance. And sometimes the balance will actually be zero of something, you know, zero, a hundred. But very often, it's not zero a hundred or fifty fifty it's somewhere in between depending on that unique relationship um, and Christopher gave his take on that too yes it is okay just start out slow and don't burn yourself out with much intensity one who tried <laughs> walking bicycling moving around can be done almost without limit is keep electrolytes in yeah absolutely uh, low to moderate intensity cardio you, your body is your own best thermometer of how much you can do. When you feel too exhausted, you are too exhausted. And you know, it's not when you feel an effort. This is what people, the more you nail the puzzle with all of this and notice how it affects how you, you feel, um, you know what it, you know, the difference between, for instance, when you're fasting, if you're actually hungry or if you're just bored and it, you think it would be nice to eat, do you need to eat or you just, do you just think it would be nice? It's the same with training, like, is it too tough for you or do you feel that it's tough and you'd like to quit, you know? There's a difference. Um, and the, the, the beautiful thing is that the more truthfully you can decipher every signal from your body, the more optimally you can make your decisions, make the right decision, because it doesn't matter if something feels good or bad, if it's a negative or positive feeling, a pleasant feeling or a disturbing feeling. If you care about making the right decision and you've made all this, you've deciphered the code much, you can always do that. You can always do that. It's like when I pulled my heavy searcher live, I decided to go heavier on stream. And I, I told, I have the opportunity now to get scared and not do it or use it as courage. And I was like, immediately, I choose, it's courage. And I went for the lift. 10 people and seven likes. So we need at least three more likes. Please like, please chat, please ask your questions. I've presented the carrot method here. Um, a way of being, a way of going about life or the things that go into dealing with your life. Please send a super chat to show your support if you found this helpful. 150 to 200 bucks is what I've taken for consultations with strangers, you know. Uh, so just know that that's the value you get. I don't expect anyone to send a super chat for that amount, but, but if you're contri contributing to the stream like that, you know, it's worth more um, still. So I'm reminding you that you can, but even more important, just fucking talk in the chat, say stuff, give me questions to answer or something. Very good. So good. Thank you, Balkam Starek said. So we have nine people, eight likes. Eight people, eight likes. I'm almost not no one saying something. Oh, here, Christopher. Mm. Christopher Lampa. I am more and more thinking in terms of being instead of doing. Awesome, man. Awesome. That, that's 100% right. Uh, 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 uh. That is also one of the points in a book called So Good They Cannot Ignore You. Yeah, 100%. A, a lot of the time when we want to reach our goals, we're like, what can I do? What more can I do when you think about stuff? To, you, uh, that either makes you burn out because you do too much, or you sit around with paralysis by analysis, you know, be like, ah, oh, what more can I do? What more can I do? Instead of fucking just doing. Uh, and you, you, you know, you talk about being instead of doing, but I, that's what I mean. When you are right now, now doing is being at a certain point, like, okay, uh, I'm not supposed to sit and just think about the things. I'm just be in the process now. Do the stuff by just being there. And that's what's happened to me lately. My process, I work so much right now. You know, I do the streams, I write programs, I talk, I have calls with my clients calls with friends, I coach people in real life, I talk to people in real life, I train, I take care of my home, I'm my own, own housewife until I live together with my wife. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I do so much shit, but it's like, it's not that difficult because it's as if I'm just watching Tiu do all the shit for me. I'm just being there. I'm just looking out at Tiu doing all this shit. And I, all I have to do is experience some thoughts and feelings. Uh, but other than that, I'm just looking at Tiu doing all this. Um, so I like that. 
Mm. Ryan Johnson. <laughs> Always this kind of my mindset. What's the most days I can safely fast without losing muscle? I have 35 pounds to lose. I mean, it's like you're not really gonna lose much muscle, but if you do, uh, you will gain it back very quickly. Don't mind if you're gonna lose the muscle. You ha this is this is the thing. Mm. This is the thing. Uh, people don't understand. That you, you're you're being results oriented and you're like way in your head that, that you're not being right now You're all in your head and be like, oh, how much can I lose if I do this? Is it worth it if I do this? But will I lose muscle if I do this? It's like decide what's important to you and then just do whatever the fuck for that You will fast however long you want to and you probably don't lose much muscle The thing is th that the idea is even in pe people have this the seeds of fear in people. Why are we even thinking about losing muscle? Who said that you can lose muscle? You know, and obviously you can, but when you do things optimally, when you, you go from training and you do a long fast, and then you break it and you go back to training and eating protein and stuff again, why would you have lost a bunch of muscle now? I, I don't understand. Someone made up this idea and put it in your head that you can lose muscle. You can lose muscle. It's just an idea. It's just in your head. So, no. Like, go go and watch my videos about fasting and muscle loss. I have, I talk about this, that both, it's just a fear thing. It's something you've gotten into your head that, oh, I need to watch out to lose muscle. I've literally, I've had the fear too, but I've learned from my experiments and my experience from my experiments that I don't really lose muscle from fasting. Like, I've done, this guy has now, in, in almost three, three years, of the four years I've done, uh, I, I've done a bunch, uh, done this process with fitness, done a bunch of fasting, a bunch of fasting. Does it look like I've lost muscle during this time or if I've just gained and gained and gained? When can you point out that, oh, but you regressed so much there, bro? No, not really. Did it never really happen? Mm. Sometimes I wonder, it pops up, is it someone who erases the response? Was that a good response, Ryan? Um, because you know this is the thing the more and more wise you become on your in your area you're never giving people the answer you're you, you they feel like you're answering some other question <laughs> because we know what you really need to know you know 11 people and 9 likes balance it out can we get the 10th like and can we get the super chat that's a goal i have for this stream you know i come up with you have to have goals uh, in the moment for the day i just came up with um good goal for the stream 10 likes and one super chat no matter the money no matter the money amount you can help me reach my goal right now and i will keep going of course i, I won't just quit before because you sent the chat um but uh, you're helping this is why i'm trying to teach people you can have so much influence with people and you get to have influence when you do positive things for them do you understand uh, because they they are happy about it then uh, you, do, do you understand so that's what I've noticed. I've started giving a lot to people that when I pay for stuff, I just leave extra money because I know this person is going to like me for this and they're going to give something back to me at some point. And you find that golden average where you're not doing this to just buy people like there's your slaves or little peasants working for you. Um, but also not the opposite. You're not just giving away yourself. The perfect balance where you give because you want to give, but you also know that you will get something back, right? So we reached the 10 like goals um, very much. Oh, Christopher Lampa. Thanks, Christopher. See, asking you shall receive. That's my recent lesson. Uh, I'll, I'll go on uh, about that a little bit more, Christopher, in a bit. But uh, asking you shall receive. I've noticed that even though I am an extremely helpful person and I feel like I like co cooperating with people, uh, that I, I don't mind getting helped out. I know that people are better than me at some things and stuff. But what I've noticed is I've, I've had a hard time just directly asking for help. Like if someone comes to me and be, uh, been like, you know what, I think I could help you with this. I've been, I'm actually very good at being sold a thing. If, if I like the thing, the person, I'm going to tell the person, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. You have something to bring me here, you know. But I've not been good at asking for it uh, myself directly. Like, do you know what, guys? I need your support with the um, Super Chats. They do help. They will make me be able to do more of this. And I'm 
you know, they will make me try harder like that. I even wrote down this thing, you guys, uh, now. It is because I try to make things a bit more visual for you. I'll make a nicer. You see, the, the more you feed into me, the more I feed out to you. That, that's the whole point here. So, Christopher, thank you so much. Um, I'll give it to you, keep going. Oh, thanks, Ryan Johnson. Uh, so, Christopher gave me 10 euros. Very appreciated, very much appreciated. And Ryan Johnson gave me 1999 US dollars. Thank you so much. Uh, what do you think about semen retention and muscle gains and just semen retention in general, how it affects people's lives? That, that's great. That's great. Uh, I'm going to go on a rant for you about that. Um, I've actually been thinking, this is a great thing. I, I'm optimizing with these lives too, because I can get many video ideas in one video out. And look, if I, I'm going to put in effort and clip these into smaller clips for you guys too. Uh, that's something, by the way, I, I'd love to get someone's help with that. If someone wants to help me clip uh, stuff, I will give you free coaching. We can have that deal. If you make clips out of my stream for me uh, and um, you know, upload them uh, for me, uh, I, I will give you free coaching, 100%. I'm making all these kinds of business arrangement with people right now. So you can reach out, whoever the fuck you are. It's easy to make clips. It's just a time thing. It's very easy to do. Um, yeah. Christopher Lampa, you motivated me to get the shit together and stop making excuses. Thanks. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's what I try to do. Uh, I'm going to get to your question, Ryan. Don't worry. Uh, Steve Colley, just popping in to say hi to you. Have a good day. Steve, I appreciate you. You you are like a wise older man that come and give me warnings sometimes. Don't lift me up a bit, but not too much. Push, push me down just a bit when I need it. Uh, I appreciate it. Mm. Okay, Ryan, for your question about semen retention, I'm actually going to put down the camera and go put on a rant. I have, a, again, the balanced view, the golden path, the black and white, it's never right. Uh, it's never right. So, uh, in regards to gains, you know, it's also a fucking ridiculous thing. To, uh, because, you know, if you have the fundamentals of this process right, if you nail your sun exposure, your diet, and your training, uh, oh, I forgot chill when I went through it, by the way. That's basically recovery, just me time, active recovery, doing whatever you need to to wind down. That could be anything for you. Play video. That's when playing video games and all that shit is, you know, allowed. But uh, if you do these things, the, you know, uh, in a good way, if you fucking jack off every day, it's not going to matter for your muscle gains. It's just we can still say you shouldn't do that for other reasons but it's not going to affect your muscle gains. That's not the important thing. It's like a red herring. It's not something to focus on. But I'll tell you my stance on, on uh, no fat and low fat. Like, you know, when it comes to pleasure, you should always be thinking that uh, it's, um, you know, it, it, it's more, it's very precious. If you overuse it, it always comes at a price and you should really, really pick your times when it's the right thing to do it. Because the, the, it can be right with sex, like when you're with, with your loved one, you know, and it's an expression of love and you getting together to have a family and then eventually, you know, th that, that's fine. Uh, but um, yeah, the, well, the thing is, the, the staying away from it completely is kind of unnatural too, when the option is there to take it in our own hands, right? But that doesn't mean, again, you, you see, you become addicted to it and weak if you do it all the time. So you find the balance. Like, I'll tell you, I have extremely high testosterone, you guys, extremely high. I'm sure it would be higher now, like uh, in the numbers, if I went and tested it, because it was above the reference range last summer, and I'm just oozing now. Like the girls, the females, the way they drool over me when I walk the streets now, I've never experienced something similar, you know. And, you know, I get fucking crazy. I, I, but I know I have to stay true to, to you know, I know my, that I want my wife and our kids and our family and just possibly can't be the right thing to use, that I have the option to just fuck a bunch, bunch of girls now. It just can't be the right thing, you know. So I had to stay off that. And then if I allow myself to do it every once in a while, that is not every day, you know, uh, to just let fucking go of some steam uh, and, um, yeah, be able to focus on other things, then I think that's fine. So I'm still an advocate for low fat over no fat. Like, you should, you should have a vision 
of doing as little as possible of that, but you're not forbidden from doing it. It's, it's always this ridiculous, going from watching porn every day, jacking off every day, to never doing it, never doing it at all. And it's like, what happened to pulling a fast one to, uh, when you have a dirty thought, to just get, fucking get it over with and go back to focusing on work or something. And you know, I know how it's gonna be. I'm gonna be like some, you know, dad in a, in a in sitcom. I, I'm gonna be very horny for my wife and all that, but I'm gonna prioritize other stuff so much that she's gonna have to drag me into the bedroom to finally fuck her, you know. And then, you know, that will be enjoyable for us, but <laughs> that's how it's gonna function. I hope that answers your questions uh, about, uh, so don't worry about it for the muscle gains, worry about it for you as a person, you know. If it would affect your gains, it would be just because your gender, not physiological effect from the coming, you know, um, but actually just the overall effect on you staying a bitch and slave to your needs, you know, like that. Uh, someone who faps when they don't want to is someone who skips a workout when they don't want to, do you understand? Um, yeah. Now, since I got the super chat so fast, my new goal for the chat is to get uh, over 500 sec in the chat. So we have 307 sec right now. So I think two to four people should be able to scrap together the rest. Um, I have an hour, I think. Um, it's funny, I love setting these little new goals in the moment for things. You should gotta go for something. You know, I, I realized that about goals. Uh, they can't be too specific. You can't be tied to one specific outcome and see it as a failure if you didn't reach that particular outcome. But maybe having that goal took you longer. It gave you something to aim for. So it's like me now with the stream. I'll go for 500. I'll ask you guys if you can send more super chat and get me to a 500 sec. That's another like 20 euros or dollars in total, you know. I'm asking you if you can get me there. I, I like it, but I'm happy either way. I'm very much appreciative of Christopher and Ryan's uh, super chat. Oh, Marvin, Marvin. Just want to say hi. Have a great day. Also, okay, he has, so something more is coming. Okay, Marvin, I'm waiting for you. Please, please uh, type fast so, uh, you know, don't fuck up this flow of the stream. Amazing, sun soda. Six people and 12 likes, I like that. But I think I think one hour plus minus 10 minutes is a good streaming length for me. You see how I always, I'm trying, I'm talking a lot about what I do because I want to teach you what it is I'm doing, you know. Uh, you know, I can teach you, I can give you a lot of answers to um, questions about your process, but it's for you, I, I'm teaching you how to build a process on your own. Do you see how, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, but do you see how I optimize every little thing that I do? I got two questions that are interconnected here. Please, someone, if you enjoy the response I give here, please send a super chat in support of that to show that. But Christopher Lampa asks, what is sun soda? And Marvin Brown says, what is your opinion on water and dehydration? So that's fucking perfect. Uh, I'll put you down, let the train pass here, and I'll give you an answer. Okay. So now it's empty, I drank all of it. But sun soda, or solar soda, is the solar night's, um, well, electrolyte drink uh, that I've decided to try now, that I don't count it as breaking my intermittent fasting window. Now I broke my fast for the day with food just before the stream too, but um, I've decided to experiment with having one liter of coconut water and orange juice mixed 50-50. And I have sodium with it, but not in it. I take it right before, I just bomb the sodium and then I keep sipping on this. But it's like 200 calories in the, for the liter. And it, it's carbs, it's potassium, it's sodium, but on the outside, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's water, of course. Uh, and uh, it, that my opinion on hydration and electrolytes is that you know, the reason why you have to keep drinking so much of the fucking snake juice on the prolonged fasts is because the carbohydrates that really makes the water and salt stick to you are not there. So the salts help, but for very short because you pee them out again. And so, and I've, I realize we've all been brainwashed by coal that, oh, it's catabolic, it's catabolic to have any calories on the fast. It's gotta be zero, gotta be zero calories. Yeah, that's the way he does it, you know. 
and I realized it's like with all these fear, will I lose muscle, la, la, la. Like everything I was afraid of trying have turned out to just be helpful to me. So now I'm trying this hydration drink that I think is much better than the snake juice. And I'm actually, I'll put out the video, uh, I've talked about it many streams now about it, but I'll put out a standalone video about that, uh, about that little drink, the snake juice 2.0. Because even if it's 200 calories, if even because I think you can have this on a long fast too. I'm just not gonna do one myself until several months. Um, 200 calories from this, and then you drink just regular water with sodium for the rest of the day. I think it will just be an attract on chase effect on uh, weight loss that even if it contains calories, the energy it gives you and keeps your metabolism going will help you lose more weight, is my uh, hypothesis I'm working with. So I'm inviting you all to try it and uh, tell me, but I also, like in, like in a few months, I'll invite you all to a three-day fast when we're supposed to drink this on the fast. Sun soda fast. <laughs> Cole impression, it was spot on. Cole voice will always make me laugh. Okay, uh, can you give me, um, if I go on a, if I go on a Cole Robinson rant, I'll actually stand up for that. Um, because, uh, yeah, he, he stands up always in his videos, like I do in a many of mine, when I sit down sometimes. But I'll, I'll try doing it. Uh, and I need, okay, the Cole impression is gonna come here, and I need you to donate. I need us to get to 500 sec. 500 sec will be very helpful. That's another 10 to, uh, like 20 euros or 20 dollars. Uh, so reward me for this. I, I'm gonna have, can someone give me a subject to rant about as coal? I, I can't decide it on my own. If I get the subject, uh, you know, in the chat, regular chat, I'll go on a rant about that. G give me a coal subject, something that coal could rant about. Come on, don't be shy. That's what I'm saying, you guys. It can't be a one-man show. It can be 97% a one-man show, but 3% gotta come from you. <coughs> People who can't fast and never can stick to what they decide. <coughs> okay, looks like I will have a little audience. Low protein, high fat. I'm sorry, Ryan. Uh, thank you both for your things, but Christopher, he, he hit it first. So let the train pass, let that guy pass. There's some women sitting down eating. Can you see them? They're, they're sitting eating their lunch there. Um, um, let me actually hide a bit from them because this, this would be embarrassing enough. Um, looking for a better spot. You know, it's it's not, and I'll be honest, right now it's not because I'm afraid of being seen. Because I could, I get some social anxiety too, but this is purely that I, I'm going to be screaming uh, and they're sitting there having a nice uh, lunch. So how, how, how nice is that? We, you know what? If we do it like this, in someone's car here, I'll just borrow it for this noble uh, goal. And you got to donate, you got to donate for this, you guys, with the super chat. I'm missing $20 or 20 euros. Who was it? People who can't stick to their past and stick to their decision. Hey, fatty! Listen! People can't stick to their plans whatsoever. ever! Tell you! <laughs> I can't think of anything more. Uh, I lost I lost like the moment I got too much in my head about this well that's a taste we would we'll see that we'll keep that as a thing for the future the impression uh, coal impression I'll be better at it that was my like first official attempt at the uh, whole standing like that like he does and screams uh, but thank you that was uh, funny Low protein high fat well you I think you all know my stance on low protein high fat already from my videos I did about it, that I'm sure you can still build muscle, I agree. It's again that people, you know, are so fucking black and white in their thinking that no, you can't build muscle on keto, uh, or no, it's the best uh, to build. It's like, how about 
if you're in a calorie surplus and train well, you can still build a muscle on keto, but maybe it's not optimal. How about that answer that neither says it's good or bad? How about that answer that actually contains more of the truth around the thing? So me personally, I would not do that. I, I've noticed lately that when I have high, very high energy expenditure and stay this fucking lean, even when I try, I try to gain weight basically right now, I noticed upping the fat helps me. But I don't see a point. I don't see a point in removing the good carbs that I eat from mainly fruits, juice and honey and a bit of starchy carbs from potatoes and stuff like that. I don't see the point. Uh, I, I'm sure at this point I've analyzed it more. I am sure Cole is just saying it's the best because he knows his little piggies that follow him likes when daddy does the same thing as them. Uh, I notice with all us men <laughs> that teach something, we, we, we share some of our weaknesses, but not all of them. Because, you know, it's like we want to present an ideal to you. And sometimes we maybe have to say something that's better for you than what's actually going on. Like, I'm sure, come to think of it, I'm sure Cole is actually eating some carbs. <laughs> maybe he's just noticed that he can still build muscle with lower protein, because that's the truth about protein. Uh, you know, getting high enough protein is not what most people have to worry about when building muscle. It's easy to get high enough protein, and you don't need, even if two grams per gram of body weight um, like 160 grams for someone who's 80 kilos or like um, whatever that is, 190 pounds or something, 180 pounds. Um, maybe it's optimal to have two grams per gram of kilo body weight, but um, it's not that you need that. And if you're in a calorie surplus overall, that's protein sparing, because that means that, ah, the body didn't need to convert the protein to glucose or anything, and it can just use everything you ate for that. So that's a little bit of rambli rambling on that. See, 13 likes and nine people. And so we have another eight minutes to reach the stream goal of $50, I guess, 50 euros. Um, we're at like 31 right now. Uh, so I need another 20, uh, basically. Please help me out with that, you guys. One person doesn't have to go the whole way. One person can send half of that and show the way for the next person. Or one person can send half of half and show the way for the three next people. You understand? You know, you know what I love? I coach you guys in everything on this channel. I coach you in being a better audience. I coach you in being better to your fellow man. That's me in this case. And uh, that might be the thing, oh, yeah, yeah, you're telling us to give you money. Well, right, yeah. And I'm grateful that, <laughs> that me getting money uh, and appreciation and everything from you plays a part in your process. But that's the thing, actually telling you all of this for your sake. I I've noticed, I've started giving so much more in my life. Like I said, just paying people more than what they ask for, or just giving more. When I go to pick up groceries, uh, I pick up some for my parents because they live close to. Like this, I'm thinking every time, what can I do more for people? What can I do more for my fellow man? And it's just coming back a thousandfold. Since I started being afraid of food prices, because you know, I've prioritized good quality nutrition for a while, but maybe had a little bit of scarcity mindset that I can't quite afford this or something. I've just not given a shit and just given, given myself the best optimal food. And what do you know, business explodes and this, uh, you know, this amount uh, of money that I pay for the food is insignificant to what it used to be. Attract, don't chase. When you're not afraid of losing something, you get it and more. That, that's the thing. And, uh, it's like a rule of life. Face your fears and all that will remain is you. Do you understand what that saying means, by the way? It means that the fear is like a response programmed into your nervous system. And that when you face it, you reprogram your nervous system. And the less fear you have to deal with, which is like the most disruptive emotion, uh, emotional experience for us humans, it makes us forget about everything. That's how people hurt each other in deeply romantic, meaningful relationships still, out of fear. Fear is the mind killer. And that's why you have to face your uh, fears to overcome them so that you become more of you.
that's what I've done. You know, I started eating my breakfast naked on the break, uh, on the balcony each day. At first, I was a little afraid of being spotted, like they're going to think I'm trying to expose myself, trying to get uh, people to see my dick, but it's the opposite. I'm trying the sun to get my dick and, and, and hide from the other people. But now I've gotten so used to it, I have realized, eh, this is my balcony, and I know I'm not trying to be some kind of sexual deviant here. So it, it's some... <laughs> uh, I was sent something funny by my mentor there, Opti Holm. Um, but, but, but yeah, facing fears, I've done that. I increased the weight. I made sure I was afraid of the lifts I was going for on my live streams for a live audience. Remember that my biggest fear once was stage fright. And now I'm here doing lifts live for an audience on YouTube and being like, I'm not afraid enough for this lift. I need to add something so I think I might fail, so I get afraid. D do you see why I become the person I am? Because I face so many fears and overcome them that I'm, I'm just not afraid of almost anything. I'm not going to lie and say that I'm not afraid, but I'm trying to find each day. So I'm still, even if it's much more chill, it's a little fear that I'm facing, sitting there with my balls in the sun, eating my breakfast, you know. <laughs> but, so you always have something. But yeah, it began with the panic attacks, which it took care of like 97% of the job, I guess. Everything happened there. It was the most brutal and intense fear. But since then, I've just chosen to keep facing the fear because it was not enough for me. When I got a taste of what it means to face your fears and all that shall remain is you, I, it's a path I never left. So after this long monologue, I think someone should send me a super chat and say, wow, I'm inspiring, bro, inspiring here because you helped me with this inspiring rant. I'll help you with this token of appreciation, the $20 missing for you to reach your goals for this stream. <laughs> we have 11 people, 30 likes. <laughs> it's funny, you know, I'm a narrator. Uh, you know, I talk so much. I'm a storyteller. And that's what we do for our, ourselves, by the way. The inner story that you tell, you know. You have to make that match. You have to make it a beautiful fucking story, but not a fantasy. Uh, and But then you just live it. You write a story like that. And, you know, I had, a, for a time period, I actually writ literally wrote stories for my clients. I wrote, like, as if it was the start of a book. And always setting them up for great success in the story. Because that's what I've done for myself. I've written the story. And now I'm writing the story for you, person watching. The person watching, all of a sudden, they understood that what Tia was saying was incredibly valuable information, that he was a hidden gem in the world where of big numbers and flashy big screens and, you know, fake jewelry, millions of followers and still fake advice and stuff. The viewer watching the stream realized they had found a hidden gem. In a world of deceit, hate and lies, this man was telling the truth. And to show their appreciation, they decided to send him a super chat with the $20 missing for him to reach his dream goals. As a token of their appreciation, yeah, that's the story. That's the beautiful story we're all <laughs> looking forward to see play out right now. It's beautiful, you guys. It's beautiful. I see it now. <laughs> Ryan Johnson uh, validates me at least. The, the, then this guy already sent me $20 super chat, so I can't really ask him to send more. I know you're a hidden gem, bro. <laughs> Most people don't realize until you're huge. Yeah, I know, bro. And uh, that's the thing, I know that I am. That's why I'm letting, again, I'm just letting this channel explode now by just asking for what I want. Give me enough money so that it's a full-time job. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm asking for. Help me make this happen. I said it, you know, I would love a level where almost all work I do is YouTube streams and I just get money from that, but I always want to do other stuff. I want to have coaching clients, whether I need to or not for financial security, you know. But I would just love it if I could see YouTube, um, YouTube streams as like uh, one of my main sources uh, of income, one of my main work jobs, like, like you know, workouts, uh, that these are like in my job, like the pure work that needs to be done like that, live streams, I would love it if, if they were. Uh, and nine people and 14 watching, maybe I'm not gonna reach the goal this time, but I set forth something to work towards, you know, and I'm very happy still. Happy that you guys have brought some questions. Um, I hope you learned something about my carrot method and the other stuff we've talked about, about electrolytes, low fap, no fap. 
I realized it's a great, I, I, it's such a great way of doing content, this having the streams, maybe getting some super chats, but then if I'm not lazy or if I can get someone to help me out with it, I could just do clips of each respective question and topic from the stream. Oh, I've scared away the women lunching there now. Ah, I'm kidding, it probably wasn't because of me, probably was because they were done. But I'll wait a little bit, we have like a minute left of stream. I'll give someone a chance to send the last super chat. I'll let it go to one minute past one hour because I know there's a small delay. And I figure out about how big the, it is, and seeing the delay between what I say and your responses. Like when I actually directly ask you something. But I'm happy with this. Guys, this is what I dreamed about, uh, dreamed of. I was looking at people doing this five years ago, too afraid of doing it myself, thinking it seems so wonderful. Live streams, putting on a show, whether it's entertainment or education, interacting with the people, those who can, can send you financial support. And it's just a very mutual relationship, you know, where everyone is happy with what they get. But okay, guys, I guess, um, do I have any little last lesson for you? Ah, not really, you know, stay solar, stay consistent with the carrot process. Uh, please leave a comment right after I finish the stream to help the algorithm. Please like and comment the stream immediately just to help other people see it even after the fact. Um, but go back and look at the carrot method. I promise you, if you try and think about every little thing in the carrot there <laughs> around yourself, you will be able to optimize your process somehow when you plug in the carrot. But okay, guys, we'll end this stream. This time, thank you, 14 likes, that's good. Oh wow, oh wow, Ryan made me, Ryan made me reach the goal. I'm so happy, I'm so happy that uh, you saved me like this, bro. Wow, I would have been sad about not hitting BPR. Wow, Ryan Johnson, you got the info and the energy to make a living, bro. Just don't forget about your day one homies. No, n never, you know, I'm actually great. I'll give myself the pat here. The reason I don't feel bad about it now, when I've realized that it's okay to ask for help, you know, the reason I don't feel bad about it is because I know just how much I give on this channel. I don't, and I'm not, and I'm not even meaning the quality as in, you know, I know that I give high quality information. I mean, I pour my heart and soul into this. When I struggle in life and feel like I can't do as many videos, I feel pain. I feel like I'm letting all of you guys down because this, this is the role I've taken on. The guy that's there for his guys and girls, you know. The guy that, you know, suffered through the trauma but saw it through, overcame it and tell the other people how to get through it. That, that's my role that I've taken on. So I am very good. I, when people that have been on my live streams, like years ago, when they show up, I'd be like, you were on a live stream last, you know, or the summer before last, right? And they'll be like, yeah, how the fuck did you remember? Because I don't forget. And the more personalized, by the way, your avatar is, the, the better I can remember it, of course, right? So Ryan Johnson, you're, you're a bit anonymous with your picture, but you have a blue wolf there in Ryan Johnson. If you keep this avatar, I'm not gonna forget it, bro. <laughs> Definitely not. So very much appreciated to Christopher and Ryan, especially, especially Ryan and Christopher who brought the super chats, helped me reach the goal I set during the stream. 500 seconds, not a bad hour's pay, you guys. Uh, definitely not. Uh, so very much appreciated. Please comment after I close down the stream and I'll pick, keep it up. I might do daily streams from this point, you guys. And also try to, to cut down into smaller clips. All right. Thank you for this time. Uh,